All right, five minutes after 10 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. When we were kids, we play make-believe, and uh, we pretend. And those two words, well, make-believe is two words. With the, but those two expressions, pretend and make-believe, I, I've all, often thought about them. I, I thought there's some magic in that. Could, because when you pretend, you pre-do something. So if you're pretending that you're a race car driver, well, maybe you're basically training your mind so that when you grow up, you become a race car driver. So you pre-do it as a child then you do it right mm-hmm. or when you make believe you're a, uh, a, a, a famous horseback rider or something right yeah you make yourself believe it and then you become it, it when we talk to science fiction writers all, it, all the time the subject comes up is uh, of, of science fiction of the past and how today things that were science fiction are happening well maybe because somebody put it in our mind to believe to make believe and th- and then it becomes real. Well, that's all well and good in, in theory, but what about using it in your own life? What about using your own brain, your own co- consciously changing your mind about who you want to be and what you want to become and making something of yourself by doing that very exercise? James Doty has hit on this and in so much more, and he's got a book to explain it and it's such a cool title into the magic shop because it all starts in a magic shop an actual magic shop where he meets an amazing lady uh who helps him figure out the connection between his brain and his heart let me see where are my credentials list here uh, so i can introduce him properly he's on the phone dr james r Doty is a neurosurgeon he's a professor in the department of neurosurgery at stanford university he's the director of the center for compassion and altruism research and education i love that uh, he's a philanthropist who funds health clinics throughout the world he serves on a board of a number of nonprofit organizations and you got to read the book into the magic shop what a cool title a cool set of circumstances that led to the title and everything that came from it dr james doty good morning sir what an honor larry thank you for having me this morning it is an honor and uh yeah uh what people don't understand is that within them is this power to if you will rewire their brains and uh as a 12 year old growing up in poverty with a father who was an alcoholic and a mother who was an invalid and had a stroke and chronically depressed on public assistance. It was a very, very difficult time until at the age of 12, having immense anger and uh, a sense of despair that I walked into a magic shop and met this incredible woman who knew nothing about magic, but she was the owner's mother. And she had this radiant smile. And over a course of six weeks with her, uh, she changed the way I saw the world. Do you, can you share with us anything she said to you that still resonates to this day that actually is part of that, that transformation? Well, she told me that uh, she knew that I was in pain, but to also understand that in different ways everyone's in pain. And uh, that still resonates with me today because many of us are suffering, and oftentimes we hide that suffering, and we don't know how to deal with it. And uh, what we don't appreciate is that when we're in pain or suffering, it has a huge, huge negative physiologic effect on us. In fact, it shortens our lives. And it also has an effect on everyone around you. And by learning uh, actually the techniques which I outline in this book, which I call uh, Roos Four Tricks, and this is in fact now based on science, uh, we have the ability to change our circumstance and in fact what I tell people after this period of time with Ruth my personal circumstance didn't change but how I reacted to those circumstances changed and that meant everything and it allowed me as you noted to be uh, become a physician a neurosurgeon a professor and also CEO of a multi-billion dollar company and to profoundly change uh, the trajectory of my life can you see it in other people and can you help another person who doesn't have the ability to see their own future in a positive way and make that positive potential happen can you can you coach somebody and and i guess to secondary the question a second a part b could a do you have to be young do you have to be young to change your mind about your future No, and this is what people uh, mistakenly believe. Each of us, no matter what our age, has the ability to, if you will, rewire our brain in a different way. And, in fact, we have developed techniques uh, to do that, and you can see those at our website, 
CCARE, C-C-A-R-E dot Stanford dot E-D-U, and as well as there are some practices on the book website, into the magic shop dot com. When you talk about um, your uh, uh, mistakes and then uh, developing a, a compassion, it seemed like your heart opened up huge right then. Well, that's right, and uh, we all make mistakes. And uh, what happens, though, for many of us is we create a negative dialogue in our head, and we don't even understand that. We think that dialogue represents us, and that's really the key here is changing that dialogue from one of negativity to one of positivity and self-affirmation. In fact, you can call it self-compassion. And when you're able to be kind and loving to yourself, that allows you to give that to others. The, uh, the, the scientific principle uh, for every action is an equal and opposite reaction. Does that apply to us uh, like, like in, as a philanthropist? When you, I, I don't think any of us give to an organization so that we receive, um, but does it? Does it happen anyway? Well, uh, uh, science shows that when you demonstrate uh, positive attributes, when you care for others, when you're compassionate, when you give, when you engage in altruistic behaviors, it stimulates others to act in a similar fashion. And in fact, it actually results in an improvement in their physiology. That simple interaction, it improves your physiology, it improves their physiology. Do we have to see it? Do we have to hear about it? Could, could it be fake, in other words? Could I see it in a movie? Could I see a movie about somebody who's being altruistic, even if that actor was never altruistic at all, as long as I believe it? Does that affect me? Well, I think in the context of a movie, the purpose of movies is to buy into that uh, artificial narrative. But interestingly, studies have been done where patients have actually engaged, if you will, in positive behaviors, and those who, uh, if you will, were, quote, faking it or doing it for reward or for personal benefit don't get the same positive physiologic effect. That is interesting. Oh, my gosh. Uh, you have really uh, articulated something that is, is probably similar to things that you might have read in, in, in spiritual books or, or maybe even in the Bible. I, I don't know. Uh, but Into the Magic Shop, and you, you've really put it into the modern day so we can understand it. Um, I have a copy of the book. I know we've got a very short interview with you. I've got a copy. I want to give it away. Call me if you want the book. It's called Into the Magic Shop. Um, the rest of us will have to go buy it. You did mention a website. I want to make sure I got it right because it was you said it kind of quickly. I do have it on my notes here. I think is it s the letter C, and then the word care as one word like two C's A R E. Correct. Dot Stanford dot edu. Is that right? That's right. Okay. And you also address uh, the times when you were meeting with attorneys to try to set up trusts, and you also speak about your brother's passing in the book. Yeah, and, and uh, both of those were difficult circumstances uh, in the sense of uh, of trying to figure out ultimately what was best. And uh, fortunately, again, uh, with the tools that uh, I talk about in the book, it gave me uh, actually uh, a sense of calmness and an insight into what I needed to do. Do you still do the things that you describe in the book? Is your future con continually being reinvented? Well, all of us uh, every day have the ability to reinvent ourselves, and certainly I have done that, and I continue to do that. And yes, I engage in uh, a set of practices that uh, center me uh, in everyday life. And in fact, if you go to the book website, intothemagicshop.com, I actually uh, have a set of audio practices and a technique which is called the alphabet of the heart, which actually is the tool that I use personally every day to center myself as a physician and as a human being. My goodness. Okay, they, the other website, intothemagicshop.com. The book is called Into the Magic Shop. Dr. James R. Doty, D-O-T-Y. Thank you, doctor. What a This is just a big topic with a short interview, but thank you for coming out of the air to talk to us about this. Yes, and thank both of you, and have a wonderful day. Thank you. We'll be right back. 
The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Sunshine, some clouds, breezy and quite cool on this Wednesday with a high of 57 to 61. Clear and cold winds tonight. Lows ranging from 28 over the interior with frost to near 40 along the coast. Sunshine Thursday, the high 60 to 64. And for Friday, mostly sunny and becoming warmer with a high of 68 at the coast, 74 inland. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. On this episode of What Not To Do, brought to you by Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. Holy what have you done in my kitchen? Oh, honey, how is it? I never know when she's coming home. What are all these pipes laying around? Why is my dishwasher in the living room, and why is the carpet all wet? Well, remember that fancy new kitchen remodel you've always wanted? Oh, I do, and this is not it. But I thought I might save some money by doing it myself. You thought wrong. I promise this is going to cost you way more. You should have called in the professionals at Mike Scott Plumbing because I'm pretty sure when I flush the toilet, water is not supposed to come out of the sink. Noticed that, did you? The next thing I'm going to notice is you calling Mike Scott Plumbing like you should have done in the first place. Yes, dear. 866-314-4443. Yes. 866-314-4443. That played out so differently in my head. On next week's episode of What Not To Do. No, not monkeys. Here's a 30-second news brief from the source WOCA. A cobra has escaped and is believed to be near Tuscawilla Park. Water authorities are asking Marion County residents to conserve water because of drought conditions. The Blue Moon Internet Cafe in Ocala was robbed last night. Hospitality industry professionals were in the state capitol yesterday to show their support for Visit Florida. And Disney and SeaWorld have closed their water parks for two days because of the cold. And that is your news brief from the source. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. It's time for Farmer Ranch Headlines on the Southeast Agnet. I'm Tyron Spriven reporting. At a recent meeting of the American Peanut Shellers Association, Alabama Extension Director for Peanuts, Chris Balkum, reported on crops around the Southeast. He also quoted about Alabama and then Georgia. He said that Scott Munford, the peanut specialist in Georgia, had reported that acreage could be as much up on peanuts as 10 to 15 percent, maybe 785,000 to 810,000 acres this year. He said 15 to 20 percent of the acres on one year or less between peanut crops could be a problem. He said a survey that they did at the various production meetings shows that farmers are not staying with their good rotation schedule. He said a lot of disease last year caused by warm weather and spring may increase disease this year and nematode potential. He said tomato spotted wilt virus is a worry because of the warm spring and also the possibility of early attacks of aphids that could be another problem. Third year in a row with over 700,000 acres, he said, in Georgia is not good for rotation or for higher yields. He said 55% of the crop is irrigated, and varieties now this year will be 90% Georgia 06G. There will be some TUF Tough 297 and Tough 157. But right now he believes that there will be an increase in acres of 10 to 15%. Hey, Mike, what's the word today? Well, the way crop prices fluctuate, I might try to save money on my nutrition program this year. What do you think? Hmm, well, did you end up using Black Max 22 last year? It's been part of our nutrition program the last five years, and it can put between 10 and 50 bucks an acre into my pocket year after year. Oh, that's the one you told me about. It's designed to help my soil provide nutrition better and cut down on burn from fertilizer, right? That's LHC technology. Okay, I think I'll give old Black Max 22 a try. Black Max 22. If you feed it, you need it. See your local CPS retailer today. I'm Tyron Spearman for Southeast Agnet. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9.30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. 
Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA, The Source, every night from 2 to 6 a.m., and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep. And neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us, 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara. And me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment. Right here on WOCA, The Source. Tired of looking at stained carpets, dirty tile, or grout? Call Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. Make your flooring look great again. Stains, pet odors, allergies. Call Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. From serving our country to serving our community. Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. Residential and commercial. Their work is guaranteed along with your satisfaction. Check their website, silverbackrestoration.com. News sure travels fast in a small town. When May's husband walks out on her, she quickly discovers she's the closest thing to a single woman for miles around, and the fellas start lining up at her door. Live on stage at Ocala Civic Theater, The Affections of May is a delightful romantic comedy playing March 16th through April 9th. Warm, witty, and full of laughs, The Affections of May is sure to make you smile. For tickets, call 352 352- 